So, what's going on? Open Topic Gang, Gang, Gang. We got a fight coming up November 12th. My man, the miracle man, Danny Jacobs, Daniel Jacobs. Um, so proud of this dude. He's looking awesome. He's in tremendous shape. Um, 32-2, 29 KOs, getting ready to have 33 victories with 30 KOs. Um, this my boy, man, overcoming so much from, um, you know, having bone cancer, taking some time out, um, you know, for the healing process and coming back to become the 160 world, uh, 160 pound champion in the world is, you know, freaking amazing. And his daddy's been in some, you know, some, uh, some tough fights. He had a good fight, his last fight with, uh, Gennady Golovkin, um, which he lost. Uh, but, um, some people, you know, thought that, you know, uh, Jake was one, um, before that, his fight with Sergio Moore, um, excellent win there, uh, got him up out of there. Um, in the seventh round, uh, I think before that, it was Peter Quillen, um, who he dusted in the first round. Um, I mean, which was a, a, a big shocker. And I would still like to see them guys, um, you know, rematch that as well to see uh, if, you know, Kid Chocolate can do a bit better this time. But November 12th, Jacobs, Arias, it's going to be an awesome fight. Once again, Danny, uh, Daniel's looking in tremendous shape. Um, one thing I respect about uh, Jacobs is he's not scared to fight anybody. He wants to fight the best at 160. Um, I can't wait to see him go up against uh, Jamal Chalo in a future bout. Um, that'd be an awesome fight to see. Um, the Charlos are uh, definitely hungry. Um, Jamal said that he has no problem facing Jacobs. <coughs> Excuse me. He has no problem facing anyone at their 160-pound weight division. And uh, and I think the kid uh, it means business. I think he's definitely serious about what he's talking about. So um, after my boy Jacobs get past uh, Luis um, on the 12th, how do y'all feel about Jamal Chalo? versus a Daniel uh, Jacobs match. Um, Cause I'm thinking that's just gonna be spectacular. I think it's gonna be a, a, a big night for boxing if that fight happens. But um, shout out to Jacobs for being in tremendous shape, looking good. Make sure you go out there and do that goddamn work. Like I know you will. Cause we gotta, uh, we gotta shake things up some more now in that middleweight class, you heard me. We gotta shake things up a little bit more. We definitely gonna get it popping, man. Open topics, we talking uh, about that real shit. We keeping it real, we keeping it 100. Don't forget to like and or subscribe. Gang, gang, yeah.